Welcome back legends to another Destiny 2 video. Today I'm going to be showing you another guide on how to level up your glaive weapons or other weapons that you're building in a really really quick way. Now this does require you to have the 30th anniversary because it does require you to have the grasp of avarice. Now what you want to do is simply start this up. The easiest setting will do. The no reason for you to go any higher. Once you come into here, this is much like the last wish second chamber where you can go in and get a lot of kills right at the start and wipe this is no different here what you do here however unlike the last wish where you're going in and killing a few bunch this one is a test of your attrition you've just got to keep on killing and when you wipe you respawn and you continue there's no death screen there's no nothing because the loot cave finally finally has a reason to exist in a proper way to provide you with well not loot but xp and this is where it becomes really really interesting because all you want to do is just take enemies out and then take these out like that and as you can see i've just left i'm just leveling up You're not picking up any of the engrams, you're just literally just killing. You're just literally killing, and once you wipe, you wipe, and then you respawn and you come back. It couldn't be any easier, and you just saw there that I did actually level up my weapon because this is no different to any other area in the game. I don't know if Bungie will eventually do anything to this. It's best to do this on your own without any um, players because you don't want to be fighting over you know competition for enemies because other people are obviously going to want to do the same and you're going to be you know fighting over enemies but here it's all simple it's very easy and you don't have to worry about competition because it's a dungeon and you're going into the dungeon on your own without anyone else well let me know in the comment section below if this helps you this is where i've been doing it personally a friend of mine that showed this to me tasman who's uh awesome dude for sharing this with me and now i'm sharing it to you again the drawback here is that this does require you to have the 30th anniversary the alternative is to go through the last wish which is a freer option and you can do that if you go to the wall and put the code in which you can find online but everyone thanks so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one peace out remain legend Thanks so much for watching my video. If you look over to the left, you'll find a video that I'm recommending to you that I think you might actually enjoy. On the right, you'll see a video that is recommended by YouTube. I really do hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one, remember to always remain legend.